روح لينا يوم روح ذاتها بتوع الرأس ذي الرادية غيرت الرادية So, I want to talk about the passport bros. I'm just a little confused. So, in a world where we live in a hookup culture, where, you know, dates aren't really planned like that, you don't really get phone calls, there's a lot of texting, a lot of convenience, a lot of lazy dating. Now, I'm supposed to believe there's like this movement of men who are specifically getting passports, taking time off work, taking time out of their leisure and going to another country to maybe, maybe find a girlfriend or a wife, you know, because nothing's guaranteed. So now you're putting in all this effort to maybe find somebody that's most likely going to be with you just for your money and your resources, which from what I'm hearing, a lot of men don't like that. Yes, there is a lot of lazy dating going on. There was a poll put out that says that at least 60-something percent of men would rather not go on a date. They would just rather stay home and pleasure themselves than to deal with Western modern women and the, and the standards that they have. The fact that he has to take her out to eat, listen to what she has to say, and mumble on and on all damn night. And then we'll have to deal with just mediocre sex. Yeah, I think a lot of guys are just like, I think I'll just stay home and order something to eat and just pleasure myself. And she looks like a woman who has been ghost on dates often. So this shouldn't be that shocking for her. In the Filipina. Who tell you I am Filipina? You're. You see, you feel, you see my face is like Filipina? Huh? I'm not Filipina, okay? Oh no. I'm from Bangladesh. The disrespect from the African-American women, American women, when it comes to the passport bros, you might ask, like, where did this start? What, why is this going on? They say that they're dusty. They say that they say they're losers. They're not worth keeping. So why are they speaking out about it? Well, it's because they're projecting. They are upset because they don't feel desired. Men are not approaching women or playing games with women like they used to. They've taken the red pill, they've woken up. And quite honestly, if I was a guy or if I had a son, I would advise him to go overseas. I love her honesty. She's straight up telling women what's going on. It's not the fact that these men want to just go over there and date other women. It's simply the fact that this red pill message has finally got out to all men and now it's mostly trickling down to the younger men because these younger men are listening to their older G's. You have very influential men like Kevin Samuels, Andrew Tate, and a bunch of other podcasts is getting this message out to men. Now men are simply on the game. They're not going to deal with Western women's standards. A lot of men, black men in particular, date white women because one, they're anti-black. They have internalized racism. And two, a lot of them feel like moving up in the world requires being with, dating, marrying a white woman because they are of a higher social class. Black people who are anti-black, mostly men, tend to have mixed children because they want to soften the features in themselves that they hate. Like I know that he was into me, but he didn't say anything. And I was like, hey, we're going to kiss or not? We're going to hang out? He was too slow. Mm -hmm. This year I met um, a German guy and it was the same. I think in Brazil we are too fast. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And yeah, like this one time in, in band camp, and it's definitely funny to see this video because this is something that Austin was talking about where he said the same thing about Brazilian women. Just the fact that Brazilian women can be very, um, let's just say move things along when it comes to dating and relationships. This young lady here is saying the same thing now. Now I know Brazilian women wish she definitely would not have said this, but she did. So there is this notion that is going on that the pastor pros are traveling because they don't have money, because they are broke, because they don't have anything to offer to the American women or the Western women. So this is my advice for you ladies and I want you to take notes. Men are very selective on who to spend their money on. You see these men you're calling broke, these men you're calling stingy, these men you're saying that they're not making the six figures you want. They are making it rain for the women that are appreciating 
their efforts because these men all they want is appreciation and respect. You see, respect unlocks doors that even when Jolie cannot unlock. So if you're not going to respect these men, they're still going to move and you'll still complain. You see, we are not even better than you. All other women are not better than you, no. The only issue with you is that you don't value what you have. It is until you lose what you have, you are now here out complaining and thinking that we, we women from other nationalities are desperate, no. Everything that is happening is your fault. Everything that is happening, it's your fault. And we are glad to see our Kenya sister back and look like she got a better phone. She got a better audio. Go ahead, though, girl. We see you out there in Africa. So hopefully we see more of her speaking up much because I love to hear some of her thoughts on how she feels. She's talking about the fact that even Western women are got the nerves to complain that these guys are even making 60 to 80 to a hundred thousand dollars a year and they don't even want them they talking about it's not enough money so if i'm making two hundred thousand and you're making fifty thousand that's problematic so i don't i don't want to be the primary breadwinner what is your you know, minimum and, that you would consider the minimum would probably be about a hundred and that's and that's half of my that's half of my salary is there a minimum number uh at least a quarter million so normally I hear 100K. So 100K wouldn't be good enough for you? Uh, no. 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 Absolutely not. Woo! Woo! She said absolutely not. So once again, she's reaffirming and letting them know that we want these men that's making $100,000. We will appreciate what they're doing. Heck, over there in Africa, he can have multiple wives if he's making $100,000 a year. Hey, you passport bros, you better go check out certain parts of Africa as well. Riddle me this. If them women are living impoverished, but yet maintain their femininity as women, why are they able to be feminine in their hardship and you masculine in your hardship? That's why we appreciate Miss Kendra so much. She is just such a blessing. Western women love to say that they are masculine because the, the man in their life, he won't step up and be the man, so they have to be the man. But if women in other countries can literally be in worse situations than them, poor than them, don't have the same finances and resources, don't have the same hair salons, nail salons, pampering, modern conveniences, and these women can stay in their feminine energies, why can't Western women, they still manage to find a way to mumble and complain about their men that they with versus women in these countries who would love to be in their position. But anyways, that's all I got in this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Like the video, drop a comment down below. I would love to know what you guys think about this one. And also don't forget to follow me on Dating Right Clips and Ronin Passport. I appreciate you guys for watching to the end. I will see you in the next video.